A couple of years ago, I started meeting with some of the best eyeglasses makers around the world. And, and this journey took me to Milan, where I met with the founder of a company called Essilor Luxottica. They're the best in the world at making glasses, and they make Ray-Ban and Oakley, and they design and build frames for everyone from Armani to Versace. And after spending time with their team and visiting their factory, I knew that they were the right partner for us to help bring the best technology together with the best glasses. And of course, in the future, you know, people aren't all gonna wear one or two different styles of glasses, uh, like we just have a couple of different kinds of phones. So we need to support a lot of different designs and styles, and that's what Luxottica does. Now, we don't have a product yet to share with you today, but I am excited to share that we have formed a multi-year partnership, starting with building and releasing our first pair of smart glasses next year. Now, I can't go into full product details yet, uh, but they're gonna be the next step on the road to augmented reality glasses, and they look pretty good too. So here's a quick video that our team put together. Introducing the glasses of the future, cutting edge technology ahead of its time. The eyewear of tomorrow. Aiding the cause of science. Inching my way towards the future. I wish I could see out of this thing. So this is going to be a big milestone in starting to integrate the core technologies into a regular glasses form factor and seeing how people use them. And speaking of that, the most important part of any AR product is the experiences it can deliver. And I'm happy with how the AR software ecosystem is coming together too. More than 600 million people use AR across our apps and devices every month. People are creating some really awesome things with Spark AR, which anyone can use to build AR effects for Facebook and Instagram. There's also AR shopping technology that lets you see how furniture is going to look in your room, or how makeup or glasses are going to look on your face before you buy them. We're already seeing some of the creativity that augmented reality can unlock, and I think that this is all just going to get a lot better as AR starts to become even more mainstream.